you can call me crazy for this one but once again september is the month where you can you can mess with some different things the vogel back spot for mcneil intrigues me a little bit because you would obviously have lindor and pete who do a good job of getting on base and then mcneil who's really good at driving in runners and then vogel back push down of the order does give something that McNeil really doesn't to the bottom order, which is some pop, where can you hit a couple home runs at the bottom of the lineup where, let's be real, the Mets catchers don't hit any home runs. Realistically, that's going to be a lot of Luis Guillorme down there. He doesn't hit home runs. Maybe Vogelback can bring that dimension to the bottom of the lineup where you do get a couple home runs, like Mark Hanna's given uh, in that sixth or seventh spot. That's an interesting idea, and you can kind of... So you take McNeil, you shift him into the five spot, you drop... Vogel back down to seven. Yes. And then you have your three best on base guys at the five, six, seven spot yes. and some power at the seven slot. That one, I think maybe I've we talked you into it a little bit. Yeah. I see your yeah. facial expressions yeah. changing. Yeah. I mean, we, we haven't talked about it much, right? No. Like we've talked about like, should he bat lead off? But then what do you do with Nemo? Cause we're just like, yeah, two, three, four, all set. That one, I think warrants at least a conversation. Uh, I think it, it has a chance to deepen the lineup, and you take McNeil's, you know, batting average on base skills. Now he's batting with Nemo on base, with Marte on base, with Lindor on base, and now he's in a better position to drive those guys in. Could that be more effective than just Vogelback, the the masher and the and the guy who takes walks at the five spot? De that's definitely uh, something that we need to think about. 